Greetings, Chris here with another very nice tutorial for Brizzy. Today I'm going to show you how you can improve your SEO and the, the usability of your websites in combination with Brizzy and two other free plugins and the usage of global blogs. So let's have a look at first what plugins we need. I have resetted my basic installation and this is what we go for. We have Bloxy Companion, that's from the theme I'm using. We have Brizzy and Brizzy Pro, um, obviously because this is a Brizzy tutorial. Um, we have Happy Files Pro. Happy Files is a management system for your media library. We have Sassy Social Share. <clears throat> uh, we have Table of Content Plus and um, the other ones are quality of life plugins we don't need to look at. So first things first, we need uh, a blog post. We have this basic blog post here, but to be able to work with it, we need um, a nice image. So let's already uh, also install instant images. And with instant images, I have the possibility to download everything I need directly from Unsplash. First of all, the settings to the highest standards I need. So and now we need something nice. Why not that bike? Oh, this one looks nice too. Okay, now we have our image. So let's put it here into our featured image. This one and update. Okay, so um, let's start with our plugins. We need to configure them a little bit. And we're going to start with Sassy Social Share. First of all, um, you have the option to uh, change the look of how your uh, icons shall look uh, in the standard interface or in the floating interface. Uh, I'm fine with them, so I leave them just be. Standard interface. This is important. URL of the web page where the icons are located. That's active by default. That means the link um, your icons are sending is actually the link of your um, blog post, for example. So down here, we now can choose the... Uh, Networks we want to be uh, we want uh, to share our stuff on. So I'm turning now first of all off. Then I want Facebook, Twitter. If you have something more business-like, LinkedIn usually is a great place. If you have more optical stuff, like uh, a recipe or fashion blogs then uh, Pinterest is uh, also pretty nice. I personally enjoy usually sending stuff by email and by WhatsApp. And well, again, if you have optical stuff, uh, Instagram usually is a nice thing too. Um, what's also important down here in the position where to add your content, we lift um, the check mark here so we don't show it anywhere because I want to work with um, short codes. So I also turn off the placements here. Uh, I don't want to have a standard installed on, on posts and pages. Like I said, I want to use the short code. So this looks good. Uh, now floating images, uh, we don't want to use them either so I'm turning these completely off save change and here you have um, the option if you want to have a share account you can add your Facebook ID and stuff like that uh, I'm not going too much into the detail of this um, 
a plugin if you want to use it, if you want to learn more about it. As you see, you also have the option to pay for it. So uh, if they want to have money, they should make the advertisement. Um, last thing, which is very interesting or important here, uh, the shortcode. So we click on this uh, link and then we get to the um, documentation. And there I'm just copying the shortcode in. We will need that later. So the second plugin we need to configure is our table of content plugin. Um, here you see it show when, only when at least four images, uh, four different headers are seen. I want to turn it off for posts and pages because again, I'm going to use my shortcut for it. So um, here you can change the text, contents, show hide is okay. Um, what's important here under advanced, usually turn off your header one. Um, the header one usually isn't just one time on the, on the page and that's uh, usually on top, but sometimes it's annoying because um, the plugin starts to, to add numbers to your um, um, paragraphs. And if it always starts with the with the uh, main name of the post, it, it's personally, I think it's annoying. So I usually turn it off. Y you can leave it on however you like. So after we have now um, configured table of contents and Sassy social share, let's jump into our post. Here we have our Hello World post. I already added some text to it. So I don't have to bore you with, um, well, um, creating content. So um, this one here becomes later my um, header, my, my introduction to the post. So uh, first of all, what I want, I want the post title here, centered, heading one, also, never forget to set the HTML tag heading one. That's nice. Then I want to have my post information. Content post title. Where is it? Ah, post info. There you go. So people know uh, when the post was written, who is the author and already if there are some comments. Um, breadcrumbs, usually a nice thing to have. Um, it helps a little bit with your SEO. Um, there's no real information about how much it impacts your SEO, but honestly, why would you not use it? That makes no sense. <clears throat> so I'm going to choose my featured image as the background image. I want to have it animated and to lead to my uh, blog post, I'm going to use one of the lower dividers and use the background white. So I start here also putting my overlay, the background always to white. That's good. And now comes um, the interesting part why we are all here. Well, I'm making this video, you're watching this video. I'm using now a button and here I want to show um, a pop-up. And in this pop-up, I want to have my sharing options and I want to have my table of content. So that people know this button is important. I'm writing it in the table of content and let's create our pop-up and I'm using the blank block. Uh, first thing we want to do is hide the uh, overlay column because people should still be able to read what we have to say here. Another thing very important is scroll page behind. So um, people don't get stuck to when, when they open your information. And what you don't want to have is to click outside to close. 
Um, we want to show a close button, so we now have to look for it. Here it is, because uh, in the blank section it comes in white, and we have a white background, so it's a little bit hard to spot. So now I have it purple, enlarge it a little bit. Well, uh, 24 things is not, uh, fine. Um, next thing, what we want to do, we want to change the size. Um, I'm choosing the percentage and there I jump to 25%. So this is the size of our pop-up. And now what we are going to do, we are going to drop the short codes section element in here. And there I'm pasting the short code I took from before. And now we squeeze this thing down to about 15%. And here I want to show my table of contents and there the shortcut is TOC. So that's that. And I want to have my pop-up right on, uh, on the right side here. So with that thing done, I'm happy so far. Let's update. Oh, I forgot something. Uh, this one should be on top. So there you go. This now is our post title. <clears throat> Let's update. And the, the nice thing is, since we are using dynamic elements up here, I can make this one a global one. And so every post, I'm, I just have to, in a new post, I just have to drag this one as a global header in and all my posts will look the same. That's pretty neat. So let's update this one here and let's show it in the Bloxy theme template. Okay. So there's attributes, default template, here we go. Um, from here, I turn this one off and I turn the post title off. These are just um, cosmetic things. You can have it however you wish. So after we changed all these things, let's um, have a look how our post will look now. There you go. One thing I usually forget because I'm resetting this this theme all the time, uh, changing the permalinks to post name. So let's again have a look. So this now is my my header. And you see it works nice. It, it scrolls a little bit slower than the background. So uh, Parallax is working. And now if people click here, table of content, bam, there you go. Here you have your sharing uh, options and here you have your content. People can click it and they, they jump instantly um, to, the, to the settings you have set here. If you want to have a smooth scroll there, you need another plugin for that. So we go to add new plugins and type in smooth scroll. And then I usually use this easy smooth scroll links. Let's activate it. And refresh our page but without the anchor. So if I click here, now you see how nice my website scrolls directly to the material. So if people want to close this one, they can hit the close button. If they want to reopen it, they can click the button again. And it's up to you uh, if you put something, for example, in the lower right corner to scroll back to top, something like that. Um, people can decide if they want, when they want to close it, 
or it, it usually helps if you have a very long article so people know ah i read to paragraph three for example then hit your table of content button scroll down there and read on this is how it usually works but a table of content usually is a very nice indicator for your seo and so it ha definitely helps out your um um your, your rankings on uh, the Google machine. Uh, also, I think it's pretty nice to have the, the sharing buttons down here. If you want to have them on your website somewhere else, usually I don't like it because um, it breaks a little bit the, the, the optics. But if you uh, need to get content that, that people share your content, um, I, I would recommend to have them more present on your website somewhere, maybe between um, paragraphs and stuff like that. Well, I hope this tutorial helped you a little bit. You learned something nice and new and um, you have fun creating your blog posts with Brizzy. We'll see us again in the next tutorial. Bye bye.